。谢谢主持人，尊敬的图埃秘书长。Mr. Ture, Secretary General of ITU, and Mr. Deputy Secretary, Mr. Zhao, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. First of all, I look. I would like to express my special appreciation to ITU, to the organizer for this opportunity to share with you all about. 4G development, and today my topic is promoting 4G development to build a new engine for information society. Globally speaking, by 2016, the global ICT market will exceed 5,000 billion US dollars. And for the Chinese market, it will be more than 631 billion US dollars by 2016. And uh, that's a whole new, a brand new opportunity for operators and telecom industry. Along with the 4G technology's development and arrival, and we believe we already have the mobile information society, we believe there are three major three major characteristics. Number one is the smart devices. Number two is cloud computing platform. Number three is the 4G based mobile broadband network. Therefore, along with the mobile information society, there will be lots of internet services, applications, and interactive system, as well as the vertical industry services and solutions. And we're going to have uh, lots of new development opportunities. The 4G technology, or in other words, the current LTE technology, is the most efficient solution for mobile broadband. It has better performance, low cost, and a global development advantage. When it comes to 4G, and we have a two and three times higher spectrum efficiency, and also higher voice capacity compared with 2G and 3G, and 4G has also higher throughput when it comes to cost. And it has advantage of about one-fourth and one-third of that of 2G and 3G. And it also has larger deployment coverage better global market with uh, 222 commercial networks and uh, uh, more than 400 commitments. And uh, this year, uh, China Mobile is working for pushing for the 4G network deployment. We already procured more than 200,000 base stations and meanwhile procured more than 1 million 4G uh, device units. And next year, we're going to work further for that, try to push for the mutualization of this market. Besides that, we're also paying attention to the following aspects. Number one is faster speed. And we push for the LTE advanced system, and then we can have double the speed of 4G, and uh, number two, we also we're also paying attention to higher efficiency, and uh, we push for the evolution from CS4 back to VOLTE, and uh, we built a uh, VOLTE system around commercial use. And in June in Shanghai, I published a VOLTE or VOLTE white paper, and meanwhile, we also push for 
the convergence of FDDLT and TDLTE because in 2G and 3G we cannot have the global roaming between different standards and in 4G and although there are also uh, FDD and TDD we are pushing very hardly for its convergence and we hope that in the future with the convergence we can have one world phone which can roam in the whole world and in pushing for the 3G development and a 4G development we pay attention to collaboration with the whole industry and ecosystem we hope we can lower the cost by large scale so as to compensate for um, the convergence and we push for multi mode multi band and for chipsets and device makers and uh, they support uh, five modes and uh, 10 to 12 frequency bands therefore to build the 4G device development system and uh, we will push for the decrease of handset cost and uh, currently the 4G handsets are still of high cost and we hope uh, this year we can expect a 1000 RMB 4G handset and we believe in the second half of next year we can have the mainstream of 1000 RMB 4G handset and China Mobile is also pushing for China Mobile self-branded handsets and device manufacturing and procurement. We manufactured 4G MiFi and 4G handsets. To collaborate with the whole ecosystem, we would like to push for the 4G development and this is our main goal. And uh, we received great support and endorsement from all ecosystem, including ITU, GSMA, NGN, MN, and GTI, together with all chipset makers, device makers, system uh, equipment makers. And uh, we also pay attention to better effect of uh, multi-mode and multi-band uh, handset development. Therefore, we can have one handset which can support all the requirements. We also pay attention to the convergence of TDLT and uh, LTFDD. And we hope in the future, all in the future, um, the network as well as handsets can support all different modes and frequency bands. And we would like to have global roaming and we would like to have our customers enjoy seamless roaming experience in anywhere, anytime. And uh, we also support uh, Forge development as it's a very good window of opportunity for uh, the future of IP-based development. And uh, today, we believe 4G is the reality by performance, price, capability and ecosystem maturity. We believe we already have a very good opportunity of its 4G development and we hope we together push further for the arrival of 4G era and we hope to realize our dream of having one world from which can roam in the world and uh, we hope to uh, collaborate with the whole uh, ecosystem partners try to build a better future in the f of our industry.